hello guys a video after a long time and in today's video i have unboxed the celestron astro master accessory kit which i bought from amazon i will leave the buying link in the description so i have owned my own astro master 70 as a telescope for more than two years from now and finally bought this kit so after mastering or i should say kind of mastering my astro master telescope i finally thought of buying this kit by the way this is not my real voice i i really don't sound like that in real life and it is not a time for a voice reveal if you want a voice reveal from me then take me to a milestone by subscribing and i will do an actual voice reveal i am just worried that people who know me in real life will actually laugh at this video because they actually knows how I sound like in real life. So anyways, jokes apart, let's continue the unboxing. In the meantime, I would like to say that while speaking in this video, I have made a few mistakes as I am not accustomed to speak on camera and it's my first time. So please forgive me as your little brother and watch the video. So looks like we finally opened the package and now we're gonna unbox this, unbox this kit. So let the intro roll. Hello guys, welcome. So in today's video, I'm going to be unboxing this. Celestron Astro Master accessory kit which I bought from Amazon so I will leave the link in the description below so let's open it and see what it comes with first of all it comes with a handwritten letter from Galileo telescope so here is it comes with a lot of packages plastics are bad for environment throw it away dispose it properly here's the main box um, the cardboard box on which written celestron astro master accessory kit there's the illustration given here it, the box contents are written here so without wasting much time let's open it okay what do we have here an instruction manual so here's an instruction manual for the accessory kit Come on man, who needs instruction to do these things? We are professionals. It comes with a small silica gel pouch. It's a dehydrating agent so, so that it does not get moisture. Throw it away. After that, it comes in a plastic box. Yeah, the plastic is pretty solid and on which there is a branding of Celestron. So let's open this box. Okay, what we have here, let's see. First of all, we have a cloth, microfiber cloth to clean the lenses. Let's keep it there. And let's check each of the box contents in uh, great detail. Okay, keeping the box aside, let's take a look at everything in detail. First of all, what do we have here? Uh, 2x Barlow lens from Celestron so it's a Barlow lens it uh, is a 2x Barlow lens so it doubles the magnification of any given eyepiece and in return it deems the object a bit so here's the main lens you can see here's the Barlow lens inside and you can see the lens from here so here's the return doubling lens and one cool feature about this Barlow lens is this specific type of Barlow lens is that you can see some threads on this here so this is a T thread so if you have a T ring, uh, T -ring and you can attach the T ring in this Barlow lens and then attach it with your DSLR and take direct photos with your DSLR so you can only get this facility in this type of Barlow lens so let's put the dust cap in or else uh, the lens will get dirty and move on to our next piece so next what we have here we have a 15 millimeter cleaner eyepiece so it's a 15 millimeter eyepiece and so it is it has a wide field of view let's open it up 
okay as you can see it has a very wide range of view wide field of view and so that's why it has a good eye relief to it if you look at it you don't have to look it look very closely to it so people wearing glasses can also use this it is a good eyepiece for capturing uh, nebulas galaxies etc it is similar as the 20 millimeter eyepiece the standard eyepiece that we get with the telescope i got with my own telescope so it's the same as that and it is 15 millimeters eyepiece so Let's keep this eyepiece aside and see what do we have next. Next, we have a six millimeter closal eyepiece. So it's a six millimeter eyepiece. So it has a very very less eye relief. You can see the the mm, lens here is very small. So the person has to look very close to it to actually see the object so it is just a bit good for visual astronomy and not at all for photography because you can't do any kind of photography with this you can't take it down so it is the same like a 6.3 millimeter eyepiece sorry this is not the one like a 6.3 millimeter eyepiece which one of my friend has gifted uh, i hope he's watching the video i know you are watching the video so it is the same as 6.3 millimeter eyepiece I don't think I will be using this eyepiece much because uh, it is actually going for the highest useful magnification of my telescope. The highest useful magnification of my telescope is only 140x and using this eyepiece with my telescope will give 150x. So it is actually going past. So I don't think I will use it much but it's a cool one to have in collection. Let's keep these things aside and see what we have next the very large thing which we have here are three filters so these three filters are nothing but planetary filters so first is our red filter so this is number 25 celestron red filter it is good for observing planets such as jupiter saturn as you can see some greater details to it i don't know i will just try it and say because i didn't try it yet it was just it was just rainy in here for about a week so i have to try it so it's the red filter next we have the celestron blue filter it's the number 80a blue filter so this one also increases the con contrast and also helps just block some certain amount of light and then helps us in our photography i don't know i have to try it so it's a blue filter and the very last thing which i am pretty much excited about is the moon filter this is the thing for which i am buying this kit not only this i am also buying it for the barlow lens too but this is the important thing when the moon passes the half moon phase after that the moon becomes so bright that it becomes very tough to watch the moon so for lunar observations after that i bought this filter so it will help me in lunar observation so let the moon shine again i will capture moon with this and also give a review about it so just wait for it so these are the three filters which comes with this set okay so this was it this is the all box contents the 2x barlow lens 6 mm closer eyepiece 15 mm cleaner eyepiece the celestron red filter celestron blue filter and the moon filter so this is the thing which comes in this box and now we will talk about how to attach it to our eyepiece and how to use them. Before that I would like to show you the microfiber cloth that it comes with. It is a different type of microfiber cloth. It is a large microfiber cloth it comes with it. So let me open the packet and check it out. So here's the microfiber cloth from Celestron. Let's open it. Whoa, what is this? What is this? What is written here? What? Subscribe to night sky and me or else the night sky will be full of clouds. So choose wisely. Also, if you want extra clear night sky, then follow me in all my social in social media accounts for extra clear night. I bet. Please choose wisely. Do it. So here's the microfiber cloth. It actually helps us clean the eyepiece very well. So nothing much to talk about it, leave it. So what are we gonna do next? Next we are gonna check out how to attach 
the Barlow lens with the eyepiece and also the filters with the eyepiece and everything to the telescope. Let's do it. So let's bring the telescope here for it. Now to insert the Barlow lens in the telescope and use it, what do we have to do? So first we have to remove the start diagonal of the telescope. Also remove the dust cap from the Barlow lens and then insert the Barlow lens in place of the start diagonal. Lock it in place and then insert the start diagonal in the place of the Barlow lens. First I need to just use the screw and then insert this in here and now lock the screw back again so we have successfully attached the Barlow lens to the telescope now we can just open the star diagonal and then we can just take any normal eyepiece and then put in the telescope and now the power of the eyepiece has been doubled so this is how the Barlow lens works it increases the focal length of the telescope tube it does not increase the focal length of this no no it increases the focal length of this tube so it makes it doubles and so thus it doubles the power so that is how we attach the Barlow lens and use it for observations now the next question which arises is how will we be able to attach the eyepiece filters with our eyepiece so let's check it out so we'll take an eyepiece filter for example the moon filter or the blue filter so what will we do first is take this filter we can see some threads on this filter so and also the bottom of the eyepiece also has some threads so we'll just match the threads and then attach it and so now the eyepiece has a filter in it so that's how we can observe the eyepiece using filters so now what we're gonna do we're gonna bring our telescopes and then open the diagonal dust caps and now just insert the eyepiece and then voila we're ready in this way we can attach any filter to this eyepiece which accepts the 1.25 inch filter these filters are all 1.25 inch so we can attach this filter to any 1.25 inch eyepiece it can be any eyepiece so this is how we do it we can attach these filters to any eyepiece of our type if we want we can attach the filter to this regular eyepiece the eyepiece which we got from my telescope it can be attached to any eyepiece of types and one cool thing about this filter is that filters can also be stacked just look at this i have attached one filter and after that now i can attach another filter so that's how we can stack filters to get the effect of two filters in one eyepiece but I won't recommend stacking a filter uh, to uh, in any kind of telescope which is less than 8 inch in aperture because if your telescope has less than 8 inch aperture then stacking eyepiece may block too much amount of light and prevent you from watching all kinds of interesting stuff so if you have a telescope more than 18, 8 inch aperture then you can use it and then stack the filters here's an old eyepiece from my old telescope that is near infinity telescope so and so i can also attach any kind of filter to this telescope eyepiece too so for example i can attach the moon filter it's just that easy so these are all the contents which comes in this Celestron Astromaster accessory kit. An Astromaster accessory kit is a cool kit and every Astromaster user should have this. It enhances the function of your Astromaster telescopes by giving it much more opportunities. I bought it from Amazon and the link is also in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And as always, thanks for watching.
been 